Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life, and uh, today we're actually going to review the Cali Pack 601 from Kalisaya. Kind of interesting when we're talking about solar batteries. Um, I didn't know what to make of it when I first got a hold of it, but this thing, the 601, is actually packing uh, 558 watt hours. This I found interesting. This was a Bluetooth connectivity button. So yeah, they actually make an app for your iPhone that's going to give you all kinds of analytics and things like that uh, that you can pair. And I found that the pairing is extremely easy. Uh, you basically turn this on, open up the app, it finds the device, and it takes seconds to, to hook up. And then you're actually able to, to look at consumption versus charging. You're actually able to... Um, optimize the angle of the panel toward the sun if you're doing that. Um, it gives you a lot of cool options. You've got your standard USB ports and you're also going to have um, a couple of 12 volt adapters right here. Now as you can see they're not your standard cigarette lighter adapters. Um, these will actually accompany you know Calisaya accessories that come out one of which is included. It's a, a cigarette lighter adapter that you'll see in just a minute. Um, one thing I was a little bit disappointed on was the fact that it didn't come with uh, a built-in AC adapter, like a wall plug. It's something you've probably seen on some of my other batteries that I've reviewed. Um, but that's okay. I think, you know, thinking about it, I, I don't use the AC adapter probably as much as, um, as I would think. Plus, for my uses, getting a big battery like this, especially a solar option, generally is for my smaller devices as well as my CPAP machine when I'm camping. So for me, it's kind of a win-win. So they've built this Cali Pack like a briefcase, basically. So when you open it up, you have the main bulk of the power pack right here on this side, and the rest of it is basically storage, which again, to me, it looks clunky when I first got it. Um, certainly no offense to the designers, but the more that you use it, the more that you dig in, you find that there is some genius to the way that it was designed. And I'm actually, I've been more and more impressed when I've gotten this out and actually used it. So right on the top, there's a little bit of a dividing flap. And as I undo that, here's a big value that comes with this standard. So you've got a foldable 40 watt solar panel built in. And that actually comes with a pack. So as I open that up, you'll notice it's nice and spacious. What's even a bigger plus is the fact that it comes with a stand uh, held together with shock cord. You go ahead and uh, set these up and it kind of gives your, gives your solar panel a little bit of a, a stand that you can prop up and point toward the sun. And again, using that app, you can really kind of configure the best angle to take when you're charging this. So again, guys, keep in mind it's a 40 watt solar panel. That's under extremely optimal conditions. I don't know that I've ever gotten the full charge out of a solar panel that, that's promised. So out of that I would expect probably about half on, on a typical day. Uh, anyway, as I open up this flap, you'll notice there's a storage area here too. Okay, so uh, as you first dig in, there's that 12 volt adapter. So this is going to plug into one of those 12 volt holes, have a cigarette lighter adapter on the other end. This is personally what I would use to run my CPAP for the night. So I, I actually went to Walmart, this is back in the early days of, of CPAP camping, and I picked up an AC inverter that plugged into one of these cigarette lighters, gave me a 110 wall plug. Um, I did talk with the manufacturers, and they, uh, they say that that's definitely possible with this. Just keep in mind that the inverter can only handle probably a, a 150 watt hours continuous, probably surges up to about 300 is what they told me. Um, but but not much more. And, and the thing is, for most appliances, you're going to be just fine, right? Like a CPAP, things like that, charging a laptop, you shouldn't be outside of that realm. So definitely some versatility. Like I said, it would be nicer if, if it actually did have an, a 110 wall plug built in. But I, I, I'm personally prepared for, for the alternative, so not a problem. Uh, there is the wall charging unit, uh, standard, and then there is a, a shoulder strap. So again, this thing is built like, basically like a briefcase clip this on and you can carry it. There is an optional accessory, it's a waterproof backpack that you can slip this into. I don't actually, uh, I, I didn't get a hold of one of those for this review, um, but that, that does seem like a cool option if you're out, uh, out and about hiking. So again, I didn't know what to think of the design at first when I, when I got it, but the more I look at this, the more I'm, I'm actually really happy with it because I had gone and bought um, a separate carry case for some of my other gear. Um, with my other batteries. And so being able to put, let's say, maybe a couple of lights, 
a couple of cords in here, kind of manage everything in one bundle, makes that pretty attractive to me. Um, it kind of saves on space. I think that's really the ultimate design here of the Cali Pack is that we're gonna just incorporate everything into one. It's a grab and go and I'm out. Um, which again, for the prepper mentality is a huge plus. Okay, so I'm tucked in for the night. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give this battery pack a test. Let me go ahead and show you what I've got here, guys. Uh, here's my, my get up. Uh, there's the Cali Pack. It is ready to go. I've also got the 12 volt hooked up here as the adapter. So the Cali app here is showing that I'm at 100% um, power. Just having the CPAP and the light on is pulling about 2.9 watt hours. So certainly not that much. The true test is when I turn this on to see how long it lasts. So again, I'm finding this app to be pretty handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out for the night. See how it does. I'll uh, check in in the morning. See you then. Uh, just woke up. You hear the birds out there. Um, it seems like it did okay. So here, let me let me actually get this so you can see it. So not bad. You know, we're we're talking about like 83% of the battery left after a full night, and I didn't really adjust the settings on the humidifier all that much. Um, if you're familiar with the ResMed, I put it down to maybe. 72 degrees on the humidity the climate settings um, So not much different than what I would normally do the key is though Let me focus over here The key is that I was using the 12 volt converter so you can kind of see down there um, I, I've talked about this in some of my other videos if you go straight AC current like you would plug it into the wall You're gonna get a less efficient pull if you go through a 12 volt which the Cali pack has uh, it's it's going to be more efficient because it's not having to convert it through uh, or invert the power. Um, so that's why we're talking about 83% of the battery left. Um, yeah, really cool. Hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please feel free to subscribe to be notified of any upcoming video content that we put out. And please feel free to share with your friends. Thanks for watching.